Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a gluten-free paleo teriyaki sauce. Now this sauce is really versatile. You can use it for baking or grilling your chicken, your steak, pork, even vegetables. It has a nice teriyaki flavor to it, and it has a little bit of sweetness as well as a little bit of heat. I think you're really gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right guys, let's go over our ingredients and get started. We'll need some coconut aminos. You can find this in a health food store for sure. It's, um, it's sort of a, a substitute for soy sauce, but it's made with coconuts. We'll need some freshly squeezed orange juice, some raw honey, some sesame oil, which is gonna really bring out some great flavor in this recipe for you. We'll need some rice vinegar, freshly minced garlic. We'll need some freshly uh, grated ginger and uh, what I did here was I took the back of a spoon and it it works really well to peel the, the ginger and then you just take a microplane and then just you know grate it until it's uh, you get about a teaspoonful and our last ingredient was we'll need some arrowroot now this is a sort of a starch flour uh, thickener for our sauce and it's going to thicken it up nicely all right guys now we're going to place everything into a saucepan except for the arrowroot now we have our coconut aminos uh, orange juice our ginger, here goes our sesame oil, our rice vinegar, the garlic, and the honey. Now you can play around with the amount of honey depending on how sweet you like it, so you know don't be uh, afraid to taste it. And you can always add more if you like. And then we just want to give this a nice mix. So take a whisk and just blend everything up until the honey seems to dissolve. Okay, I'm going to put this on medium heat. We're going to bring it to a simmer. Now while I get that warmed up, I'm going to take my arrowroot mixture here and I'm going to add just a little more coconut aminos to it just to make it uh, turn into a little paste. And this is just gonna be a little slurry so that we can uh, thicken up our sauce. So now that's ready to go when we need it. All right, so now that I got this up to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down so that it simmers and it'll simmer for about three to five minutes. And it will help thicken it up. It'll help to also cook the garlic a little bit so that it's not so uh, strong. All right, guys, here's our sauce after five minutes of this. Now it's time to add the arrowroot. Mix that in and it will start to thicken. I'm gonna let this go for one more minute and then we'll be done. So here's our sauce guys, so you can get a look at, at it. You can see the chunks of the garlic and the ginger. It's thickened up nicely the way I like it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, next time you see me, I'm gonna be making a chicken teriyaki recipe for you using this recipe. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss it, all right? So thanks again, everybody. I hope you try this recipe. Use it on your chicken, your beef, and your veggies. You'll love it. Thanks again, bye.